Alright, welcome back to Star Traders Frontiers. So we're here on our crew manifest because we have some newly named recruits. So I'll try to go through everybody again. So we still have Sieve, who we've always had. Um, let's see, I've added uh, Florida Man is new. Uh, let's see, I can't remember Nemo Agate's, uh, no I don't think so. And then uh, I think we have Chiron, Chiron now, and uh, Totes Magotes. Adrian Saldana has been here before, uh, Eerie Wax, Tylus, and I think that's everybody. Um, I wasn't the most organized last week, so if you did make a name request and I didn't get you in by this episode, uh, please just remind me. Um, it, it was purely an oversight on my part. Um, but uh, it will take me a bit of time to get names into, into our crew here, so uh, be patient with me though, and I will get you added to the list, or get you added into uh, the game. So, uh, where are we right now? We are in the Dixie Maelstrom, and we need to go over here to the Orion Expanse. We've got our waypoint sent, and let's check out where that's going to be. That's just next door. Okay. And we don't have any problems with uh, Cedar or Cater. Alta Mesa. Alta Mesa. We have actually seven rep. That's good. Okay. Well, let's go, shall we? Every time I start up this game, I have to remind myself not to get tilted. Oh man, this read charts, it's triggering a lot. Anyway, I have to remind myself not to get tilted and make a bad mistake. Like, so right now we want refinery mostly. I don't see a refinery on the way. We got stuff we can sell at the industry over here. Do we have any in our stash anywhere? No. And I actually, I know for a fact too that we're heading to the independent half. That's a mi that's mining and industrial. That's wilderness. Any other double zones? That's wilderness. So yeah, multiple factions can control the same area, although usually it's Indy. I'm not sure I've ever seen a double faction, actually. It's usually a faction and then Indy. Well, let's just go. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to get too tilted or greedy or frustrated with my card options or else bad things can happen. So here... We can face a pirate, potentially. Oh, and one thing too I noticed I need to fix is a hostile bounty hunter could be very bad. Um, one bad thing I've noticed is we don't have the lifesaver perk on her yet, and I'm hoping that I can get it through combat medic. But one of the bad things about taking your captain into combat is, of course, if he dies, then it's game over. But if you have the life-saving perk, then you can do something about it. I'm also regretting, I think, getting uh, the, com the commander ability, because when since you can retrain your stats, even though he has the one perk here, Recruiter's Edge, even though he gets the same thing at level 5, it doesn't matter that it's level 5, because you can just retrain, and all of your stats can be taken at level 5. Like, there's no reason you have to take Tactical Edge at level 1 again. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about the decision I made there. Um, anyway. Do I want to do these? I do want to do the pirate thing. But I think I want to... Or not the pirate. Well, yeah. What's in our cargo hold again? All of this stuff's pretty cheap. But if we do face a pirate, do I want to fight a pirate? That is the question. I want to strike a blow in a conflict. What's the conflict with Alta Mesa? Uh, with these peeps that I'm already on bad terms with, eh? Who are they again? Devaltos? I'm an infamous outlaw. <sighs> yeah. And the pirate's gonna be a Devaltos. Boy, this does not look great. Hmm. This is where, again, what are you trying to do here? Are you trying to win the game, or are you trying to get killed? Uh, let's land and sell some stuff.
Okay. Do you have anything that goes to a mining? You have uh, clothing, which I know does, for 102. Clothing, I think, is the best thing for mines. Let's go ahead and purchase it. Okay. Map. Nope. Whatever. There we go. Uh, let's see. I'm going to land. Let's sell our cargo. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull the thread. Captain, do you see him? You can't be serious. There's no doubt that is Elder. See the data scroll he is carrying? It has an Academy seal on it. It's the Spice Report, I'm sure. Murr. He is Gestalt. He is a Gestalt technologist. There is no question. Only their order bears those distinct facial tattoos. They were a mark of pride during the Guild War, a challenge for the Guild assassins who hunted their order relentlessly. Well, he is here. Now we have to figure out why he is ratting out Char and the Gestalt to Zet. Uh, private room. That's the only option we really have. Many welcome, Star Trader. It is good to finally meet you, Eldar. You're the one behind the comms device? That's right, you gave me some headaches with all your riddles. You drove me to some spice beer, honestly. Now that we're sitting across from each other, this should be much easier. Unfortunately not. What? You just love riddles? No. We've both taken a lot of risk to sit here and discuss Aldo Bastille Gestalt. Care to explain why you're being opaque as... Ursulite? Some things I cannot explain. The Gestalt are very secretive. We understand that, but you called us here for a reason. My friend, perhaps you will hear me. This is not a matter of headaches and spice beer. Some things I truly cannot explain. I think I know what he is getting at, Captain. There are secrets and subjects he is not going to be able to discuss. He has some conditioning. He can't break it. Hmm. Who are you, and why did you contact Zet Fane? I can tell you some things. My name is Yane Dolzimer, and I am one of two Gestalt who oversee the Old Drave Enclave. The other Gestalt resident there is Jaismink Drof. A long time ago, I sponsored her to join... Uh, that's a woman? Okay. I sponsored her to join our order. The Fane are, sworn, are the sworn enemy of the Char, and Zet has long been snooping around the high wind. Since you're here now, can we assume that you didn't have a hand in making Aldo Bastille disappear? Aldo Bastille should have died on the High Wind Orbital. I don't know who bombed the station or why, but it was his time to die. Do you understand? His fate was to die on the station with his research. I think so. Clearly you were not the one who saved his life. Then it was Jaismink. Bastille should have died in that explosion and taken his research with him. Captain, I think Yane has called us here because he wants us to find and kill Aldo Bastille. He can't say it, but clearly the Gestalt Jaismink is the one who saved Aldo's life. Uh, why is Jaysmink helping Aldo? Is Aitan involved? Aitan Char has an irritated tongue. She could talk a mother into selling her twins. And Aldo has a dangerous mind. He's fascinated by all the wrong things. Together they are a terrible pair. Did you know that the gravitational... The gravitation of a black hole drags even light itself into its embrace. Doesn't everybody know that? I mean, this is the future, you know? I mean, ba I'm back here in the 21st century, I think everybody knows that, so I would hope that you guys do. Then the two of them got to Jay's Mink. Aldo's research and Aitan's whispered promises. They managed to convert a gestalt. Somehow they got around her conditioning. Jay's Mink has been like a daughter to me. I discovered her, brought her to the Order. That was decades ago. As a gestalt technologist, she is my equal. And yet, you're trying to protect her from this terrible mistake. Is If the rest of the Gestalt discovered what she is doing, she would face the ultimate punishment, wouldn't she? She's like a daughter to me, very dear. I think she would. You need us to remove Aldo to help Jaysme come to her senses. Tell us where Aldo is hidden, and we will make sure no one hears from him again. All humans die eventually. Aldo will die eventually. He wants Aldo dead, not captured. Zet may not agree. Tell us where Aldo is hidden, and we will take care of it. I know some princes and princesses lie, but I have heard that Zet Fane would keep her word if she gave it. Does he know anything about Zet? Do you know the Spadius fly? No, I don't. If one fly, if one finds a fruit orchard, it will tell the others where it is before feasting. You're not going to make this easy, are you? Return to orbit over Old Drave. We can exchange scientific reports. I won't read the reports unless you bring them. This is insane. He is insane. Are all Gestalt like this? But together, we've pieced it together. Aitan and Aldo have their hooks in Jay's Mink because Aldo's research 
is so fascinating. Yane wants a promise we will kill Aldo before he'll give up his location. Yane believes Zet will be willing to make and keep her promise. If we return with word of her agreement, he will tell us where the scientist is hiding. We need to meet with Zet and tell her everything we've learned. Okay. Pay our crew. Alright, where are we headed next, guys? Who leveled... Okay, this guy. Who isn't very good. This is what I want. When exploring a wild zone, reroll any risk card. Alright. Well, let's see. Where do you want me to go? Okay. Farflin Rim. This is not a great place for me to go right now. I do need to repair my reputation, but I would rather repair it this, <laughs> this direction. Why do you want me to go this way? Nine danger. It's less dangerous. It's one jump. Yeah. No. <laughs> We're going to go through the Dixay ma Maelstrom. Yeah, we're not going to go through... I can't remember what's in this sector anyway. Ah, uh, you know what? We could do it. Just to take a look. Okay. I mean, it can't be completely Alta Mesa or whoever they are. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Duranium. It's cheap. Oh, I could buy spice and take it home. Nah, let's just buy a geranium. That way we'll have something in our cargo holds if we meet a pirate. Alright, I got a lot of money here. I'm not sure I can buy a new ship yet. Let's uh, go. Of course we meet a pirate right out of the gate. Hmm. He's a level 7 pirate. Hmm, we could just run away from him. Hmm. We could try to kill him, too, which is a better idea. Let's see if we can kill him. Because we do need to improve our crew combat. Perfected approach. Versus elusive barrage. 5% shield. Rallying cry. Let's go ahead and do evasive maneuvers first. Let's see what the first salvo looks like. Okay, he hits. He misses. He misses. We did a bunch of damage there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do Rallying Cry. Hmm. Well, that... Protection against crew morale and damage. Purges your ship crew. I don't want that. I think I want... This one. To get rid of the crippling effects. Good, he keeps missing. And we are going to board. Okay, we have really messed up his ship. Alright guys, Doctor, I don't like you being that far up. Okay, who do we want? So we need some peeps to level up. 
and we're gonna have a very hard crew combat fight coming up in our near future so I do still think I'm gonna train up my best fighters here which is you guys also we want to take out the combat crew here uh, let's see armor that's good 12 initiative to use Let's go ahead and armor everybody. Okay. Damning aim. In crew combat. Crippling pistol attack causes minus two initiative. That's not going to affect anybody just yet. So we'll get her armored up. Ow. Okay. Okay. Kill him. Thank you. I could only hit her. Um, we're gonna buff ourselves. Heal thyself. Good. Kill this person. That's fine with me. I wish Damning Shot could hit there. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. We don't need that one. Just kill her. Alright. Six initiative to use that one. We'll use it. Doctor, keep yourself alive. Captain. Refocus. Go ahead and hit him. Nope. Heal the captain. Good. Yeah, take that. Let's just go ahead and heal you too. Alright. Now you die. Or not. Hmm. Go ahead and shoot him. Almost. That'll do it. Alright. Ferocious crossfire. Torpedo I'm not worried about. So panic the crew. Depart. Oh, we have taken some damage. Our torpedo got damaged. Hmm. Let's go ahead and hit him with the Imperator. And do we need anything? We could just go ahead and do Rally and Cry and get some morale. Why not? Uh, because we might get hit. I think this is all we need to do. Uh, we could do Sharp Steering, because they may try to escape now. Yeah, these guys are messed up probably hit their gunnery crew and damage their weapons and they don't have any attack capabilities right now. Okay. So again guys, we are hoarding experience on these guys because we have a tough fight coming up that I need to get my guys trained up for. As high a level as possible, I think. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to keep doing it this way. Okay, same move. All right. If we hit this guy, we'll be able to f attack first. You have a hundred hit points. Um, sure. There, that moves her down to twelve. Move this guy down to ten. Sure. Okay. Just killing her also works. I'm happy with that. Ow. Damn. So much damage. Buff her. Kill him. 
All right, damning shot. Okay. Okay. Keep yourself healed. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and take this initiative. Does this work again? I don't think so. I think once you hit him once with the damning shot or tricky shot, I don't think you can take out his initiative again. We'll never know because he died. Okay. Yep. Keep going. Okay, and again, I want my doctor to get those juicy XP points. There's their captain. How much hit points does the captain have? Wow, that is a lot of hit points. And a lot of morale. Crikey. Okay, well then. Let's just kill this person. If we can. Sure. Good. Ow. Okay. Go ahead and heal. Hmm. Move that one up. No, I don't think... Yep, she can't use her weapon at rank one. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's find out if we can hit the captain twice. Okay. Let's hit her. Alright, we're gonna try again. Nope. See, her initiative didn't go down that time. It's because, uh... It's because she already has damning aim on her. Okay. That still costs her her turn. Okay. Go ahead and let's get that girl. Pistol ears are annoying, but these guns hit like a ton of bricks. Okay. And you know what? Because you can. There we go. All right. Sabotage. Yo, yo, it's a sabotage. All right. So. I. Lost three with Steel Song. I don't want to have problems with Steel Song, but anyway, let's take a look at their cargo. Strontium alloy is worth quite a bit. Hmm. Yeah, transfer it. Enemy cargo. Permit restricted. Really? Hmm. You know what? I don't care. Let's go ahead and just grab it. Who knows? Alright. Transfer. Like I said, I kind of wish this was a little bit more efficient. <laughs> Loot all of it. There we go. Uh, take fuel. And shall we ransom them? I say we shall. How much did that hit us? Only three reputation. Gained 30 experience. Only 7,904. Well, I guess maybe because we killed a butt ton of their crew. All right. Since you know we are here in orbit, uh, it's industrial. Maybe we'll try to go ahead and take it to, it's not in demand in mining. In indie wilderness, yeah. Yeah, there's nowhere really here to sell it. Maybe there will be in the next sector. Let's go ahead and take a look. And then we'll end the episode. This next sector is going to be a little dangerous. But... I think my goal is just to try to make it a certain distance in the game. <laughs> and 
Yeah, if it works, I'll be happy. Hey, look at that. It's right there. It's very simple to get to. Cater Pavonis. Luxury population. High tech, which we can't sell at. We could stop it here, though, and try to do a patrol. I'll do that in the next episode, though, guys. So that's going to do it. As always, thanks for watching. And uh, again, like I said, if uh, I missed your name for the crew, please just remind me. Uh, just take note. It's going to take me a while to get the names back in again, but uh, I will get it in. And I will see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.